Hello, I am Lock Fazar. This is Let's Play Snake Rattle and Roll, level 8. Now I realize that in some of my previous videos, my voice was fairly quiet compared to the loud music at some parts, so I will uh, try to keep the music down a little bit so everything is sounding good. So let's start this level up here. Uh, we're isolated on this ledge here, let's get over, and we're dead. No, we're not actually dead. We're actually in this very creative type fish level. This level will hurt your thumbs, because you have to... Jumping does that, and you have to constantly jump to stay afloat or you sink. And you have to constantly spam the B button to eat the fish. So you have to be constantly jumping and constantly hitting B. So constantly hitting basically both buttons at once is what I'm doing. Sometimes not both. Oh yes, and now we have these new black nibblies that you have to hit three times to get the shell off. That's not annoying at all. I don't hate this level. Oh, there we go. See, I filled up and the door opens and we beat the level. Oh, GG. No, the level is not over yet. We get to do it all over again. Yay! Yeah, this level is actually quite easy. It's kind of a fun, relaxing level. Although, no, although, in a way, it's not, because you can still die by running out of time, and of course, if you run out of fish, then the door will stay closed, and you'll just run out of time and die, and start over, or something like that. Not real sure. But, I don't want to run out of fish and find out. So, let's just, you know, eat them. Oh yes, and if they go off the screen, they don't come back, they're just gone. See that black one went off the screen? It's gone now forever. So it's quite easy to run out of fish, especially when, especially when you have black ones that just, you know, annoy the hell out of you. So don't starve. See, this whole tank only has four fish in it left now. Good thing I'm done. Could have been close. But I have not much time left. It's over here. Is there? Yes, there is. If you miss that and just jump in the pool, you'd probably die as well. So, we need every little bit of time we can get. This level is easy, but it's not that easy. Just beat everything as fast as you possibly can. Don't let that guy go off the screen. I got him. Ooh, a speed power up might help if I don't die getting it. There we go. Help me chase these yellow things that are way too fast. Okay, uh, I should be almost full. I don't know what that annoying sound is. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. I want to taste you in my mouth. Mmm, tastes like fish. There we go. One more cool down. Okay, we're definitely gonna need that clock. And I hate those stupid fountains. Oh, that was close. Kind of deadly. Okay. One more again. And this, this one has some spiky death blocks, so beware of those as you're fishing. You can watch your shadow here. Um, just don't let your shadow go over those spikes. That would be bad. There's another Y there, but I already got two, that's so why I'm full. Uh, okay. Let's get that one first. That was close. A couple black ones on the screen, so I'm forced to break them down. Yeah, my hands getting tired after all from all this swimming. It'd be nice if they let you just hold down the A button to swim, but no, you have to keep tapping it. That doesn't suck at all. I hope there's no black ones in other levels. I don't think there is. I think it's just the fish. Oh look, we're done. See, the level was actually pretty easy. Don't let yourself start. Incredible. So they give you that little bit of fun, kind of happy time, lots of eating, as kind of a break before the next level. Because this is where the fun starts. I said before that all oh, the levels are getting hard. No, they weren't getting hard. They were getting medium. After about uh, starting level 4, the levels kind of get medium hard, but I didn't mean those were hard levels. I mean they were hard in the beginning. This is where the hard levels begin. So I will see you next time in level 9.